Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In recent years, DNA testing has become really popular because it allows people to learn about their genetic heritage and trace their ancestral roots. Ancestry DNA is known for having helped millions of people discover their origins, connect with long lost relatives and build family trees. So after seeing many reviews online, I decided to test it out for myself and the results were fascinating. Now, there were a few hiccups during the process. For example, the reports took a lot longer to arrive than I expected, but overall the experience was really, really great. Okay, now you might be wondering how DNA testing actually works and what it's all about. So I'll be going over all that with you today in this video. And by the way, if at any point you'd like to check out Ancestry DNA for yourself and learn more about your genetics, then click the link in the description below to save up to 60% off your purchase. Okay, so I first got interested in DNA testing when I saw a video of Jimmy Kimmel talking about how he used the service to discover his heritage. Now, he already knew that he had an Italian-American background, but he didn't know how his ancestors came to America. It was Ancestry DNA that figured out the story for him. It all began in January 1903 with a ship that arrived in New York City. On board the ship was Jimmy's great-grandfather, Vincenzo Icano, who was 35 years old at the time. Now, one thing that got Jimmy very emotional was the fact that his great-granddad was carrying only $10 with him on the entire journey. He reflected on how different his life is compared to his great-grandfather's and imagined the courage and determination it took for Vincenzo to leave Italy and move his family to a new country on a boat under such challenging circumstances. Ancestry DNA also managed to find out why Vincenzo left Italy in the first place. In June 1883, the town he was living in had been destroyed by an earthquake, resulting in the loss of a lot of lives and the destruction of 40% of the town. It's likely that this tragic event was the driving force behind Vincenzo's decision to start a new life in America. And for Jimmy, this discovery was very beneficial because it allowed him to connect with his Italian ancestors by understanding the sacrifices that they made for a better life. Now, there are a lot of other stories like this one, which inspired me to take the test for myself. And here's what the process looked like. First, I'll mention that the process is very straightforward. You sign up, receive a kit, collect a saliva sample, and return it to Ancestry DNA's laboratory for analysis. And with that sample, they'll analyze your DNA and generate a report on your heritage. Now, one of the aspects of Ancestry DNA that I liked in particular was that they give you the ability to connect with relatives through your DNA matches. You can choose to share your results with others in their database, and as a result, you have the opportunity to discover matches to relatives you never knew existed. For example, some people have reported that they were able to reconnect with long lost siblings and cousins. Beyond just basic DNA results, Ancestry DNA also offers multiple tools and additional features. They give you the option to build and maintain a family tree, integrating DNA data with historical records to trace your ancestors. Plus, you can also connect to other members who share DNA similarities with you to be able to exchange family information and potentially discover new relatives. Now, one important thing to note is that the complexity of human migrations and historical events can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. For instance, regions with shared genetic markers may not align with modern geopolitical boundaries, leading to a diverse range of ancestral origins for people from certain regions. And I have to say, although the results are not 100% accurate, they're pretty good. And I found it pretty interesting to discover that DNA contains information about how likely someone is to be an introvert or an extrovert. And Ancestry DNA's feature called Polygenic Risk Score provides you with all this kind of information and more. And now let's see how much Ancestry DNA costs. They offer different plans for testing kits and memberships. The DNA test kit is around hundred bucks. And for an additional dollar, you'll also get the World Explorer membership. At around 200 bucks, you can get the Ancestry DNA Trades Kit plus the All Access membership. So if you wanna get a kit to test your own DNA, then be sure to click the link in the description below to get that 60% off your purchase, which is a deal you won't find on their website. Now, it's also worth noting that you can get the membership options separately, which provide different levels of access to their database. These memberships are billed monthly after a free two week trial, which begins as soon as you sign up. Now, the US Discovery membership, which starts at around 22 bucks a month, gives you access to all the US records and the World Explorer membership, which starts at around 33 bucks a month, gives you access to records of over 80 countries in the database. And if you want access to the complete database, including the global military records, then go with the all access membership, which provides just that 
for around 50 bucks a month. Okay, so exploring your genetic ancestry offers an interesting and informative experience that helps you learn about the origins of your ancestors. Ancestry DNA presents a unique opportunity for people to interact with their genetic data in a way that was once inaccessible to the general public. Also, the vast database provides the possibility of discovering newfound relatives. And just like Jimmy Kimmel, understanding our genetic heritage can help us gain more awareness of our past, which in turn influences the choices we make and the actions we take to shape a better future. All right, now the last thing I wanna discuss are concerns about privacy and security. Many people are cautious about their information and Ancestry DNA understands the importance of safeguarding privacy. And that's why they've taken measures to protect your sensitive data. When you submit your sample to Ancestry DNA, they make sure that your personal information is kept confidential and your DNA is disconnected from any personally identifiable information, such as your name, address, or contact details. And this is gonna ensure that your genetic data can't be linked back to you. You'll have full control over who can access your results and your genetic information won't be shared with third parties without your consent. This allows you to manage your privacy preferences throughout the testing process. And while Ancestry DNA does have a vast database of DNA samples, they don't share your data directly with other users. When you connect with relatives on the platform, you see shared matches, but not specific details or direct access to their data. And you also have the option to delete your data or deactivate your account at any time. So to wrap it all up, Ancestry DNA has helped many people in learning about their heritage. And although it's not perfect, like any service, I'd recommend Ancestry DNA to anyone who wants to uncover their genetic heritage and discover the information hidden in their DNA. And that's going to be it for today's video. If you have any experience with DNA testing or any questions or comments, leave them below in the comments section. And remember to click on the link in the description to take advantage of that discount that I mentioned before, which is a discount you won't find on their website. And if you found this video to be helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.